Okay. <clears throat> okay. Nazis grievances. Interfamilial violence between the Germans. in Germany, in America, and between Germans in Germany and in America, <laughs> interfamilial violence. Lots of death and destruction. America is gripped by Nazis. Its political leadership is brainwashed by Nazis. Anti-communist, anti-Russian, they are still licking their wounds from having lost World War II. Now, they want to bring America down and Europe down. Revenge for what Amer America and Europe did to them during World War II. They don't seem to care about the Germany of today. <laughs> Look at Argentina. This is their model for the future. That Nazi cabal uh, in, in Antarctica. Um, wants to destroy the West using the East and the South and take over what ruins remains. Here's some very important videos uh, that have informed my thinking. Uh, on this. Now, just a note, it's possible this is a limited op, limited on, not limited, maybe controlled opposition, that's what I mean. controlled opposition. Opposition. Playing good cop. Like, I'm not, like, you have to question, why would anyone go to Antarctica? <laughs> Obviously, I think that was mentioned in another video, I don't think I linked it here. Anyone who goes to Antarctica and is, and is relaying information from these people must have some kind of connection to these people. So, while I think the information is very interesting and maybe valid, it might be a controlled opposition. I'm not saying it is. I don't have any evidence for it, but I'm just saying you have to be scared, like skeptical. I don't know what the skeptical. I don't like that word. Uh, you have to like question the intention. So maybe they're not giving us the whole story, but but the info is good nonetheless. Gold, nonetheless. <laughs> America is in the grip of Nazis. In it's infested with Nazis. It's a curse that's impacting the whole world. The Nazis are taking revenge for what you did to them during World War II. They are still aggrieved from that loss. They hate America, Europe, and especially the Russians. Yes. This is an insane death cult. It wants to take the whole planet down so it can build anew its vision of the Fourth Reich or whatever utopian Germanic society it has in mind. These people are insane and a danger to humanity. I, I wonder if there are ETs who will help us, benevolent ETs. Here's another question. What if ETs is just a PSYOP created by the Nazis to convince the world they have more power than they do? So many questions. Think about what happened in the 1940s. Um, did the Nazis develop the UFOs, the Foo Fighters? Um, I think there is going to be a great war and destruction unless someone from within, an insider, takes them out <laughs> or they just go away. I saw this tweet recently where someone was saying that they saw this like really big evacuation of um, like UFOs from Uh, 
Yeah, UFO is from Sedona, like some kind of an evacuation. I wonder if they're like evacuating because if because the people are waking up and then and, and they see the writing on the wall. They see the writing on the wall and they and they're evacuating. Are they to the moon or Mars? I heard they have bases in Mars. These people are eugenicists. Remember the what happened to the eugenicists in America in the nineteen or eighteen hundreds? What happened to them? I think they went underground or to Antarctica or Argentina. They might have gone underground and creating this. We are still living in the shadows of World War Two. I don't trust pharmaceuticals. The Nazis went into that industry, the pharmaceutical industry. Perhaps they want to take revenge on humanity by infusing drugs with properties or chemicals that create disease, then cure it. These people are wicked, or might be wicked. Is this slandered? Uh, am I defaming people by saying this? <laughs> I haven't... Is, is calling Nazis evil, <laughs> wicked, is that defamation? I mean, I don't know. Come on, I mean, uh, this is my speculation, but no, the, the, we know the Nazis went into the pharmaceutical industry, but I'm just like really paranoid, worried. Like, what if they're doing this? Maybe this is their revenge, you know, the, the Nazis strike back. This is their long-term revenge plan on humanity because... Of what happened in <coughs> World War Two? This is another question that concerns me. Did this Nazi cabal promote the idea of ETs, extraterrestrials, in order to cover, in order to cover their presence? You hear of ETs like the tall whites, greys. I heard of a story where some tall whites visited a Vegas casino so they could see what it was like. Were well, these just humans from this breakaway group visiting Normie land? Maybe they were genetically modified humans. I have to consider it serious. The possibility that ETs were a sire promoted by this breakaway group to cover their presence. In fact, I am sure of this, yes. But Yes, I, yeah, the, the, the intelligence agencies have been messing with the UFO community, as I point out later. But the question is, but does this mean there are no actual ETs? I think there might be extra ETs. Religions are full of comments about people who, who come from the stars, sky people, uh, you know, the heavenly realms or... There was that tribe in Africa who spoke about star people who they identified to be from a from star uh, what, whom is that whom they identified to be from some star constellation which was identified by mainstream science only much later. Is it the Dogon tribe? I don't know. Did they identify the Pleiades? Perhaps this breakaway group con Danes, humans from before the flood, which I call Atlanteans, you know, um, you know the sixth version of humanity, further listed to files. And there is credible whistleblower testimony from military people talking about multiple species of aliens. This is a very difficult place to be in. Uh, when there is so much misinformation and disinformation around this topic, the military has admitted they've been messing with the UFO community, so that is a fact. And this may have been motivated to cover the actions of this breakaway group. But this does not mean it's all humans, though it could be, you know. I want to know what the truth is, whatever it is. So I don't want to be too emotionally attached to one idea. If it's, you know, so I, I do want to have some skepticism. UFOs exist. We know the UFOs exist. The question is, who are 
who are operating these UFOs? Is it just humans or is it ETs or interdimensional entities? I think all of them are in play and I think it's all of them, but <laughs> anyway, it's important to keep uh, always uh, question yourself, but that's a delicate thing. Because if you're like, uh, as I mentioned later on, one, if 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 the enemy wants you to be one of the strategies of the enemy is to sow disinformation, misinformation, and perhaps even mal mal information, uh, which might be which is it anyway, and that's to keep you always questioning yourself. If you don't trust anything, you're not going to be motivated to act. You don't have any reasons to act. You, you may become politically apathetic. So we have to always, it's important to question things, but we also need to take action. We, we need to be motivated. <clears throat> you can't be too skeptical all the time because that just makes, you, you become a, a target of, of you, you succumb to the machinations of this diabolical group <laughs> and their evil agenda. I think these interdimensional entities exist, these spiritual beings. I might not know what their nature is, but I can tell, you know, there's a dark force. If you look, look, look into the human heart, you can look at how humans have become so cold-hearted. Look at all this war and how we turn our backs and become cold-hearted. It's like a very dark, evil spirit. Um, you know. Some of the evil created in this evil world is created by them. Should I say may be created by them? Or should I say is created by them? Because when I say is created by them, that's so certain when it when I when I sound certain, I feel so motivated to act. But if I say, oh maybe, sort of, then I'm like, oh maybe it's not true. So I don't. I think I'll just leave it, you know, and walk away. But if I say this is it, is, you see how how that creates motivation, and what what is my action at the moment? Right now, all I'm doing is talking. I, I'm not. I don't have any actual political power in the world but talking itself is kind of an act uh, maybe at this time most of us can only talk so i don't know and i think this evil is put into people they may be able to put thoughts into our minds to make us think and act in a certain way or compel us to there's a lot of evidence about this telepathy these ets use telepathy and if they can use telepathy i'm pretty sure these you know, spiritual beings can use telepathy. It, remote viewing is a thing, you know. The, oh, so people have to learn to open up to the idea that yes, consciousness is a technology that can be used to communicate, and the beings that are more advanced than us communicate directly using the technology of telepathy it's that same thing you know like if you look at uh human made artifacts uh they're very mechanical uh they have rivets they have wires and you could uh language could be another kind of human made artifact cultural artifact we have words and sounds. This can be considered derivative technology, but the more advanced technology is to use telepathy where you communicate using consciousness directly, so thought to thought images, direct mind to mind communication by passing the medium of language. So language can be seen as, some, as a derivative technology that's not that advanced. Whereas these advanced beings might use direct conscious communication. Uh, and just look at our aircraft. Our aircraft are all very mechanical, whereas theirs are biological. And we can be seen, you know, if these aliens uh, made us, we are 
their creation, biological creation. Whereas humans use language to talk, we use, um, we make things that are mechanical and electrical. You see how there's like the, the, the things we make are kind of like not as cool as their technology. Their technology is consciousness and biology. And our technology is language, words, and uh, electromechanical products. Uh, and if, so they can, you know, it's like sort of like being like in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in another level, like they're in level that's above us. So this idea of 5D and we're living in 3D and they're living in 5D so they can look at us and maybe they can read our thoughts, you know. Even though we can't read our other people's thoughts, but they can because they can look at us in a way that that is like denied to us. Maybe by design, I've heard that this I, this remote really viewing thing is it's possible for all humans, but someone has used technology to suppress us. And maybe the Atlanteans, previous humans, had the capability to do uh, direct mind-to-mind -mind communication. And this made them very powerful because they could operate these advanced craft and maybe as stated in the Lysata files, one of the wars between the reptilians and the Elohim was caused because the Elohim created the fifth version of humanity and these other people who built the pyramids. And maybe in order to build the pyramids, you use like this conscious technology where you can, I don't know, activate some kind of energy thing using your mind and move the stones and that's that's why these people created the pyramid because they had the because they were uh what i would call psychic they could use direct conscious communication with their craft or whatever I think that kind of this kind of just kind of you know connecting the dots is kind of makes sense you know what I'm saying is like we are technology biological we are their creation and we use language to communicate uh, whereas they use uh, consciousness telepathy to communicate and I think this is kind of a very real thing um, this is a video on tall whites where they talk about like how they're going to the Vegas. Are these tall whites like uh, the actual, the breakaway group? And they're pretending to be aliens. Maybe some, it's like someone there saying, oh, well, I want to go to Disneyland. I want to go to the Vegas. I want to know how these humans are living in the, in the, in the real world or in the normie world. And then some of the breakaway people, maybe Nazis, I'm saying, okay, okay, we're going to disguise you as aliens and tall whites and we're going to, you know, uh, this way, you know, uh, uh, it might be something like that. But these tall whites could be real. You know. Possible atrocities and crimes against humanity done by, by this Nazi breakaway group. Kidnapping children, performing genetic medical experiments on them for eugenic purposes. Testing medicines. Where are all the missing children? It might be these people who are doing it. It's been said that these craft, some of these actual UFOs, let's just say they're actual UFOs, they're biological. And this is an observation that's been made by so many people that the craft looks alive, like it's biological, right? Imagine humans are technology, DNA created uh, biobots. You can create crafts that are also biological, right? Maybe biology is most, uh, one of the most advanced technology you can make and, and, and me mechanical, electrical, the stuff we make is not that advanced. What if the, in order to operate these craft, you need to have psychic or your, your capacity for consciousness uh, uh, manipulating consciousness must be high. Maybe this breakaway group, this eugenic racist group, because <laughs> they might be kidnapping people in in in, in like uh, in tsunamis, affected areas and things, or even just normal people, even in America, wherever. Um, 
They might be kidnapping children because children have psyche. And this has actually been discussed by that um, by that Marine who witnessed the UFO in Indonesia. He actually talked about like how he met with one of these people in the in these secret programs and they said that we kidnap these people and then we give them drugs so they can, you know, operate technology or the UFOs because you need to be psychic, but they apparently die early or something. I mean, seriously, this is a crime against humanity. This is a crime against humanity. Whether it's a breakaway group or the, or the military doing it, kidnapping children or human trafficking so you can get them to operate the UFOs. Okay, if I want to give them the benefit of the doubt, what if there is a war that's happening with the Elohim and in order for humanity to survive, humanity has to learn to operate these machines and maybe this is why they're kidnapping people, created. maybe on a charitable interpretation, I will say, okay, maybe these breakaway group, they're preparing for the war with the Elohim, okay? Maybe that's a uh, pro-human view, but I don't know if that's what they're doing. Maybe they're just kidnapping people just so they can experiment on them. And then they can create this this kind of their own breakaway group with their own, you know, like elites. Elites who look down on the average person, who looks down on humanity. They're living in Antarctica in, in, in underground bases. I hate these people. I vote for Nuremberg 2.0. <laughs> Justice must be seen to be done. Uh, that's a phrase in one of those videos I linked about. So one of these. Trust no one. This is a phrase from the X Files. You must question everybody in this age of misinformation and disinformation. Um, difficult balancing act. You are motivated to act when you believe something is true. The enemy can sow mis or disinformation to make people apathetic and complacent. Must guard against this, like I mentioned before. There is some good diagnosis here in this video I just saw. So, but the true source is the Nazi cabal in Antarctica, the breakaway group. It could also be a combination of fallen angels and reptilians and Atlanteans and, you know, and other, other alien species could also be involved. You know, like a, a, the greys, they could be actual aliens with the Elohim, fallen angels, you know, Lucifer and reptilians and... Nazis. It could actually be that, or it could just be humans. Either way, the 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 people who are causing all of this problem are not simply the intelligence. They, they, these people control the intelligence agencies, finance, tech, media. You know the courts. It's like human. You know. It's not just these. It's not just the intelligence in view. They are controlled by someone else, and that's this breakaway group who might have bases on the moon. And you know, there was this movie made about the moon. It's called Iron Sky or something. And one of the people who edited that movie died shortly after making the film. And it always occurred to me: I wonder if they were like assassinated because. Um, maybe because they were telling the story about it's a movie called Iron Sky. It's about the Nazis on the far side of the moon, and they're gonna come back to Earth. Maybe that that movie was released like in the early twenty tens. Maybe that movie was like too close to home, and and someone maybe threatened this person. Or this is just speculation. I have no evidence to support this. I'm just speculating here. I always like, you know, I was always thinking, I wonder if this person was assassinated because they, they came too close to the truth. Um, but it's just my speculation, you know. And according to other people, you know, there are bases in Mars and they're terraforming Mars. And, I, and, and those people in Mars don't even know. They might be totally like information is controlled and, and they don't know anything about Earth. They think Earth is like destroyed. If you think it's, uh, uh, just look at how much control there is. This is an information war. A lot of people don't know, like even we, I don't know about our true history because all of that information has been suppressed and controlled. The information war is a really serious problem, you know. Um, you can get whole populations to think 
the other side is doing something uh, against them when the other when it's not look at how much control over the media we are much as uh, we are as much victims of this information control as the people who are who may be in Mars and who don't even who think the, uh, who think there's a nuclear like Earth was wiped out there's a, it's all a nuclear holocaust they might if you look at them and think oh those people are I can't believe those people think the Earth is wiped out but just look at your own history what how much information have they suppressed from us you know we might be living in this matrix and that's so something you know people are waking out of the matrix but how much do we don't know? How much have they suppressed? We might, uh, there are people out there who know more about our history and they look look at us like we're all living in a matrix. And in, this, in the way they're right, we are living in a matrix, you know? Uh, 